Samsung data, ERP General Junior, welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Database Administration Series. And our topic for today is about our hands-on in Lecture 5 and 6, which states the use of expression in SQL. Like uh, the three expressions we discussed about the arithmetic, relational, and the logical. And also we're going to uh, use the time function and the date function as an addition to our SQL code. Now we have here the, uh, the table 1, okay, uh, a series of uh, fields and on, under the, its uh, columns and row considered to be our records. Now, so what we need to do uh, to identify that uh, it is considered to be an SQL code. A very simple uh, interpretation of the the window name which is considered to be table one. Okay, if it is a an SQL, then it is considered to be a query. Okay, so let's start. Now, uh, so we can type right now uh, using select. Then they uh, ask this uh, from table one. So as you notice, we have here the, the query of uh, the table one, which are similar. Okay. Now. Uh, So let's uh, continue by specifying uh, select as it is uh, from table 1. So what we need to do is to make more identified fields. Okay. So let's state the uh, student number, comma, student name, comma, then we have start to make it be a enter so they are the same from table one now uh, what we need to do right now since we identify all of them we can use now the the date function okay so let's uh, input the date function okay open this parenthesis from table one okay so press enter that's it so we have the date and you will notice we have an expression uh, number four right here underscore four from the date, okay, as the field name. So to replace that, a very simple use of the as command, as um, right now. So my own. So we have uh, student name, student number seven, date, date as my own to replace the field name. So we have here, you will notice it is what we call mail. Now what we need to do right now is to use the um, expressions we have arithmetic. Uh, in arithmetic, so we have addition, subtraction, division, and uh, multiplication. Okay? And of course the modulo or the remainder. Now um, we cannot use all of this uh, because it's a date, so we cannot multiply the date. Of course, we cannot. We cannot the date. We add the date. We cannot divide the date, but we can subtract the date on the date. So what we are going to do right now is uh, a very simple subtraction of how long you've been uh, uh, joining on the online class. So to do that, since we have here right now. What we need to do is a very simple. Uh, maybe you can uh, put comma here, okay? And uh, you can put uh, starting. Oh, sorry, sir. Uh, we can put right here instead of the comma. Just type to make no redundancy at all, okay? Because if I'm going to stipulate uh, again the field name and its date, then they are considered to be uh, duplication. 
So what I'm doing right now is to replace the comma with the subtraction sign date. Now uh, we can press enter on that. So you will notice that the starting date has never been uh, shown and the um, date considered to be the, the date right now we have the date subtracted to the previous date we're going to replace this so this is the difference um, because it is a subtraction uh, then first enter so the difference is that Valentine um got 22 days of joining online Marianne is 18 and 17 for the Ramos Marianne and that is for the subtraction we have in our expression uh, I think we, and uh, I told you before that we cannot use um, multiplication uh, we can use addition as long as it could be into a numeric number okay but so far uh, if there is uh, another is what you call in expression is the relational now let's proceed with the relational expression Okay, so uh, what we need to do to make it very simple is that uh, instead of uh, subtraction sign, we need to modify again this with something like less than and press enter. You will notice that uh, starting day, uh, less than the date is different from table 1, is considered to be true. Okay, on the difference. Now we can replace the difference into because this is a relational. So let's make this one uh, a truth table, okay? From table one because it is logical, okay? That is the essence of uh, having the tree. So the truth table, uh, so starting date. Let's uh, move on and let's make this one greater than. Then uh, in less than it is all true, in greater than it's all false. Now, uh, how about uh, exactly equal? So it is false. Okay. Then we have uh, less than equal. So we have true. And we have greater than equal. So it is false. And that's all for the, uh, the uh, relational operation. The logical operation cannot be used because. Uh, this is not logical because uh, we have the previous date and the present date so it is not logical and uh, that is the the idea of using the expression that's why we discussed that earlier because uh, we cannot we can manipulate everything okay on the table itself as you use the expressions now next we have the select uh, Seed name, seed number, seed name, the starting date, and let's proceed with the time function as uh, um, time function from table one. That's it. So we have here the uh, expression of our time function. Okay, so you, we can use also as for the time uh, now, maybe now, right now from table. So it was been replaced with the right now that is 17. So uh, we can use also the the date time function. So as long as we use the time, and uh, so let's check out the date time function. So date and time function, date time function from the right now that's it so the date and time function uh, specifies the date and its uh, current time current date and the current time so look up here if this was considered to be right now another is that um, uh, notice that the, it, is considered, it is considered it by 757 so a while ago it is 17, 17, 57. Uh, because of the set uh, time uh, 
from uh, set time to okay, the code is uh, set time set uh, set status set status on and off that's it from the status of uh, date and time okay so if it is on it is activated if it is off it is not activated so we can use the set status on also uh, uh, I think uh, this is considered to be our topic for today and uh, all that's been uh, indicated is considered to be identified already and uh, I hoping that uh, you learn something new from uh, the SQL expression thank you and good luck